Let's continue reviewing function called globe to import several modules at once. So in the previous lesson we have reviewed one configuration option with the name eager. And in this lesson we'll continue reviewing some other options. For example we can also use option called as. And in case we specify value row for this option, then the object which globe function will return is going to contain the following. Every key of this object will still be passed to a particular module, but the value is different because this time it contains content of those modules, instead of the function which allows us to load particular module dynamically. So when browser were requesting those modules to fetch them, as we can see Vit has replied with the following content. It has produced valid script module where default export contains module content in a string form. So literally what Vit has done, it read content of every module, converted it to a string and returned to a browser. But if I'm going to specify value URL for the option as in here, this time glow function is going to produce the following result. We still get an object where every key is a pass to individual module and the value this time is absolute pass to those modules. So as a response to calls which fetch those modules in the browser, Vit has returned the valid script module where default export is passed to that module. And now let's try to do the following. I'm going to add a, an export of constant name into every module. In the first module this constant will be equal to Jane. The second module B already contains this constant with value John. So let's add the same constant into module C. And the value in here let's say will be Johnny. And I'm also going to place default export into every module. The first module will export letter A as a default export. The second module will export letter B. And the third module will export letter C. And then back to our main JavaScript file. Let's remove this configuration object that we're passing to globe function. Remove the comment from this chunk of code. And this time let's use one configuration option called import. And what this option allows us to do, it lets us specify name the expert, which we'd like to import while importing modules in bulk by using globe function. So for example, if every module we're trying to import in bulk contains some name the expert, instead of importing anything else, we can literally specify a particular import that we'd like. And since all our modules export constant with a name name, we can specify this name in here. And since we have already specified that every import should contain import called name, that promise which will be resolved after dynamically importing module will contain this data. So let's rename this parameter on name and use it to print it out. And there we go, after every dynamic module gets fetched and executed, we also see the value of the name variable in here, which contains names. And if, for example, I only want to import default expert, we can literally mention default in here. And this time, instead of names, we're gonna get values exported by default from those modules. And let's take a look at one more combination of configuration options. We're going to use eager option with value true and import option with value name. And by now we already know that by using these configuration options, we disable the dynamic nature of importing modules, as well as we specify that we'd like to import only imports called name. And as a result, we're gonna receive such object where every key is a pass to individual imported module. And as a value for those keys, we receive values of the named experts called name. So all our three modules, A, B, and C, were requested and fetched on the initial page load. And now let's also take a look at the transformation what bit has applied to glob function call. So right here we can see it was transformed into three static imports, where every import imports only one piece of data called name. And down here all this data gets gathered within one object, and this object gets assigned to modules constant which at the end gets printed to the console. So as we can see, this globe function, which Vit provides us with to load several modules at once, is pretty powerful. 
and lets us import multiple modules in several different ways.